have rented a car for the afternoon and look how cute it is. Ah. So we will be sporting this for a few hours today as we just go do some sightseeing. We found, uh, we want to go to some cenotes. We want to do some shopping and we want to find some murals around um, La Playa del Carmen and Tulum. So wish us luck. Okay, we're just coming up to Founders Park and look at this gorgeous, huge statue. Wow. Wow, this is huge. We are going to order a little drink, one of those, but look at all these fun vendors all the way up and down the beach. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, trying my drink. <laughs> Not my favorite. <laughs> Just walking around Playa del Carmen and look at this awesome store. This mural goes on both sides. It's so beautiful. All right, just coming out of the market, so many great things in there, but look at this quaint and beautiful chapel. I mean, I love the cross at the very top. And then if you can see, let me go a little closer. Through that, if I go down, you can see the cross right through it. Glass windows at the very end. See the palm trees and the beach. Wow, so beautiful. So one of our deals that we make when we go on vacation, it doesn't matter if we're in New Orleans or Boston, Hawaii, wherever, we cannot, hola! <laughs> we cannot buy any food like McDonald's, Taco Bell type food. We have to try new restaurants and go to other new places. But this is where we're gonna make the exception. We are going into 7-Eleven because we have not found any um, Mountain Dews. So we're gonna see if they have a Mountain Dew in here. Fingers crossed. Oh, Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's crazy. I guess it's illegal in Mexico for Mountain Dew, tequila. but you can have yeah, tequila and... Anything else you want to drink. What's beer in Spanish again? I forgot. Cerveza. Cerveza. <laughs> but no Mountain Dew. Maybe that's telling us something, that something is really, really wrong with Mountain Dew. <laughs> something really weird that we've seen on this road, because we've driven this road quite a bit going on our different tours to uh, the ruins and to Zelha, is the speed signs will go 60, and then a fourth of a mile later, it's 80, and then it's back to 60, and then it's 100, and then it's back to 80. I mean, it goes so fast. So I wanted to show you some of them. That's so weird. I think they're like speed traps to, for the policia to get uh, the tourists and, and to get money from us, I guess. Ooh, yikes. All right, so it's been 80 for a little bit. And now it's 60. <laughs> There's a poster for Zelha. That's where we went yesterday. And then here's another sign for 70. <laughs> right after it. <laughs> it goes so fast. Oh, no, it says no E. Whatever that means. We're at Akumal Bay. This is the entrance right by the freeway and they have a ton of murals. Pretty cool. And on the other side. So cool. We are at Cenote Cristalino. Oh, it's muy bonita. Look at this. Oh, 
They said they have tons of fish and it goes way back there. There's tons of fish and beautiful things to see. And they also have those little tiny fish that nibble your feet and give you a little pedicure like they do in the mall and all that stuff. So we get it for free. Oh, look how gorgeous it is here. Can't wait. We're here and I'm just about to get in. I put my feet in and they're already nibbling at my feet. But they are much larger here than at the mall. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. and like nibble at your arms and your legs and everywhere. It's crazy. <laughs> Loading. Loading in a sonote. Ready? Carmen or Tulum, this is definitely one of the cenotes you should go to. Beautiful. 